Hey Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Spiegel Mom Scraps to share with you that a, with a layout that I created using some of the goodies from the Spiegel Mom Scraps store. This is the completed layout. It's a 8.5 by 11 page layout and these are the goodies that I used. I used the Shooting Stars cork, the uh, Chevy Chevron's cork, as well as the Green Acres sequence mix and you can find those in the store which I'll link you up to in the comments. This is a picture of my son. Um, and I love the background and the perspective, and so that's why I decided I wanted to do this as an eight and a half by 11 picture. I had pulled this green from Bella Boulevard from my scraps. I chose elements to go with this layout that complemented the colors in the layout, and so I went with that brick color, um, sort of a reddy brown, uh, the green in the foliage foliage and the weeds really in the sidewalk and the background there um, and then just other and then browns as well so I had pulled a whole bunch of stuff some from Ellie's studio some from Coco Daisy um, as well as these three particular things from Spiegel Mom scraps store to use and I knew I needed to go down the side because the layout is long or tall I should say um, and I didn't want to make the layout any taller so by using that large green strip there um, it added some width is what I want to say to the layout and while typically if I want to create width to the layout so create more of a horizontal length um, I like to go all the way across the layout but because of the way that the photo was cropped I couldn't do that so I have decided I want to use these Chevy Chevrons. I really like these large Chevy Chevrons um, up the top there. The three didn't fit on the little shelf that I was going to back them with. So they're easy enough to cut with scissors that I just trimmed one down. And I actually like the look of the large, small, large of the sequence there. Uh, not sequence, sorry, cork. Um, so now I want to fill this little space to the right here just so that not everything is left and then the picture. I wanted something to move your eye from the left hand side of the page to my son and then across the picture. Um, so I just have some embellishments. A lot of that stuff there, um, all the goodies in that little black tray there are from Pink Fresh Studios. And so I just, I had pulled things that particularly match the colors that I'd mentioned earlier. And I, the rest of this video is literally me shuffling things around, um, trying to find a pleasing layout that emphasizes the picture and leaves me room to journal. So I ultimately go with that card that is on the um, layout currently. It's basically just a white piece of cardstock with brown notebook paper sort of ripped up the top there um, and that's from Coco Daisy and I just start layering the different green brown bricky red things that I've pulled out I guess it's really more of a coral color um, and I, oh, I do have a couple of those are little bits and pieces from Simple Stories the Reset Girl and I really like that green banner there and really wanted to find a way to incorporate it because I thought that the green on the left hand side that really darker green created a nice balance to the green in the top right where those trees are at the end of the brick wall that he's standing against. But because I didn't have any other matching green embellishments, it stood out on its own too much and so ultimately gets tossed aside. I put a little piece of note card here on the right hand side on a diagonal and at the time I really thought that I liked it. Um, I think I might have to go back in later I haven't decided, but I, looking at the layout as it's finished, I don't really like it. Um, so I will probably pull that out, but leave all the embellishments that are in there. Um, it's not often that I adhere things down to a layout and go back in later and take them out. Do you do that much? Um, I'd be intrigued to know how many people do that. I know we can always change things, but I, I think once it's done, I like to leave it done. So I found that frame that says this is awesome from Ellie's studio and I really liked how that corally brick red color complements the color of the bricks and makes the white 
of the journal card from Coco Daisy, Less Stark. And I love the brown notebook paper ripped sort of peeking out off the top of that. So I like these elements that I've chosen here, um, but I do need something down the bottom underneath that to sort of close off that big gap. I could have shifted things, but I like the tightness of how they are. And so I find one of these word stickers, again, from Pink Fresh Studios to complement that. There are several things that I do end up doing off camera. I um, added some puffy stickers to the this embellishment cluster that I'm working on here, as well as one by that uh, word sticker that I put in down the bottom. Um, I also put in the title, which are just some thickers that are, say, 14, because this is about my son being 14. And then I actually, what you don't see me put in here are the shooting cork stars that I just put in near the sequence. Um, I love the shooting cork stars. If you need cork stars, those are definitely the way to go because there are different sizes and a variety of sizes. And I always like to have a variety of sizes of things. I find that the sequins mixes that I use the most too are the ones that have a variety of sizes in them as well. Um, so I've em embellished the layout with all the goodies that I like. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, the green acres sequence mix and just add in a little bit of bling to my boy layout. Boys can have sequence as well. And so I just find a few of the colors and um, put three trios of those in. I use my liquid adhesive to adhere the cork down. It's the best way to get it down. You could use your ATG gun. I do use that sometimes. Um, but typically for these, this is a more porous substance, I think that the liquid adhesive works better. I just use my ruler there to line that up and get them straight. I did use some uh, foam adhesive underneath that arrow just to give a little pop to the page. And you see there's that green banner that I really want to use. I, I do really like it, um, but it, it just, it doesn't fit. It's, while it it could fit. I'd need to find something else green, and I don't have anything that sort of darker Kelly green color. So there's the sequence that I referred to earlier. And again, I'm going to use my liquid adhesive to adhere those down. There are some sequins in this mix that uh, a few of them are sort of ribbed. They're not the typical rib. They're a ring inside a ring inside a ring, and I, I love that. They're different, um, and it's not often that you find sequins like that. The mixes that Jody comes up with are, are really cool, and there's always some f form of color or something different that makes them stand out that uh, is, is really unique. So... I'm just going to adhere these down. I will journal in that journal block there. Um, and basically, they're just things about my son at age 14 that are unique to him at 14. He's a, he's a really good kid, and, and I'm lucky that he's mine. So um, that's almost going to be the end of the video. If you um, don't already follow us, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to the Spiegel Mom Scraps channel so that you don't miss any more of our upcoming videos. Um, and always, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up so that both YouTube and I know what you'd like to see in the future. And if you have any specific things you want to see from Spiegel Mom Scraps, please do also leave that in the comment. Thanks for joining me today. Stop back in and see what else we have in store for you. Take care. Yeah.